Back home, the Cronulla Sharks still have solid ambitions of winning both competitions. They faced a full-strength St Helens outfit at Shark Park, and they had to do it without sick or injured players like Dean Treister, Danny Lee, Mitch Healy, Matt Rogers and David Peachy. On a fairly cold night at Shark Park, round four of the Visa World Club Challenge, and bringing together Andrew Eddinghausen's Cronulla Sharks in their return clash with the, the great English club St Helens. They beat them 48 points to 8 it was at uh, Nosley Road. And uh, it is hoped that St Helens with uh, several of their internationals back in the lineup tonight are going to offer a stiffer opposition. Bobby Goulding brings the St Helens side out. Gilding, New Love and Joint were not there when Cronulla travelled to England. But Bobby Goulding himself, along with Paul New Love, uh, you could expect them to stand tall in any company in rugby league. Lang. 28 metres away from St Helens' line. And Richardson. Will he make it? Yes, he has! He's got it over! Well, that was terrible defence by St Helens. Allowing Jeff Bell to score. Yeah, shocking defence here. Again, Russell Richardson proving to be a handful out wide. But by the time Jeff Bell was in a bit of space, he was confronted by three defenders in a short period of time. Hay just gets pushed straight out of the way. That looks like Goulding trying to wrestle Bell away from the line. He couldn't keep him out either, but really the, the miss from the fullback was a shocker. Up around the head area, and Jeff Bell just came back inside to beat the halfback next. Yeah, it's awful, isn't it? I mean, when Bell got into the open, Richardson got on the outside of Hunt. That was poor defence in itself. He gets into the open here and sees three of them. He's thinking, oh, I'm hundreds. They'll hammer me here. They'll put me in a touch or something. But he's come up with a try. Very slack. You've got to get him around the legs, boys. And then once again, Gooling held on for what seemed like half an hour, and there was still no cover coming over to help him. And tonight, a real opportunity for a lot of the Cronulla players as Paul Green steps up and oh, he's hit that one fairly well. 6 0 in favour of the Sharks after 17 minutes. O'Neill. Out on his own 40 metre line. Well, up. well, trouble here for Davidson. Davidson. He's, he's run very hard tonight, Matadio. He's been a real goal for the Saints team. And he absolutely creamed Davidson here with a, a barnstorming run. Well, is it, is it Davidson? Might be McKenna. Or it might be McKenna. Whoever it is, just absolutely got wiped out from the shoulder it is Chris McKenna there you can see he gets the, the point of the shoulder nothing wrong with it at all McKenna just going in leading with the head he was knocked out immediately so Chris McKenna under the watchful eye of the Cronulla doctor Peter Maloof leaves the field Forrester has gone on for Cronulla Cunningham Matadia now for Cunningham again. Good support play. Not Arnold. Inside ball for O'Neill. St. Helens. He's gone for the video referee. Cunningham it is. Who's appealed for the try. Well, he's already claimed the try. He's very confident that the video referee will award this one. Good lead-up work there, tremendous work on the right side of the field. And then Cunningham scoots out a dummy half. I think that's a try. I think it'll be seen that way. He's a very clever player out of dummy half. Good speed. I don't know whether he's, well, I think he's got control, but I think it'll be a try. What do you think, Paul? I think it's a try, Pete. Down with pressure. Here's the decision. It's a try for Kieran Cunningham. The current Great Britain hooker. Cronulla trying to get something going. 
Martin Lang. Penalty to Cronulla. Roll inside. And uh, right in front. 20 metres out. So Green from 19 out, directly in front. And increases that lead for Cronulla to four points. Nickow trying to fend away from Long. Just into St Helens area. Here's Green. A weaving run. Cronulla keeping it alive. Richardson, five metres out for the line. From Eddinghausen, Green, across for Dykes. Oh, Dykes will score! Beautiful piece of play. Adam Dykes has done it on his own. 12 points to four. Yeah, tremendous vision here from Adam Dykes. It was set up by the weaving run of Paul Green. He cut out Eddinghausen. Pass, then throw to a flying Russell Richardson. Good work from Wade Forrester to be backing up to throw that pass. The pass Adam goes Dykes. wide. Adam Dykes looks into open territory, slides it through. The, the, the halfback there, you can see Bobby Goulding playing up in the front line. Yeah, pretty handy player, Adam Dykes. And that's a good skill just to put the, the right weight on it to, to score the try. 15 metres out, just off centre. And adds the extras to the try scored by Adam Dykes. Good yards. Gilding. Haig. Pick a bat. Good support play by Cunningham. Cunningham. Is he over the line? No. That would have been his second try. Pick of hands. All hands on deck. Yeah, that's the turnover. And the far wing of St. Helens has gone off his head. Arnold on the far side couldn't believe that Pick of hands just couldn't throw the footy to him. Nobody within 15 metres of him. But what about this kid? He is a fine. This Kieran Cunningham. Tremendous left hand fend there. Just a tackle over the top from Richardson was the try saver. And from the next ruck, really, if they had been able to get it, an extra pass, no problems. If he could have caught and passed pick events, the winger was totally unmarked. Yeah, you give uh, Paul Green some credit there. He rushed up and nullified the attack. He rolled him over. I, I think he could have pulled oh, out of it. Did he upend him? Did he? Oh, well, yeah. Jason, I'm trying to find out what's going on. Yeah. Did he upend him? Yeah, he upended him. And so he... we need to look and see how he yeah, came down. That's right. So, yes. OK, all right. So we, we put it on record? Yeah, put it on report. OK, it's, it's on report and it's over here where this play is. Yeah, Jason, Jason Stevens on report. And this is the tackle here. Puts him up. He landed very awkwardly, but the, yeah, I don't know there's too a, much in it. Just a strong tackle, really, wasn't it? No arm between the legs. Goulding just off centre. Strikes it. And the flags are in the air. So a further two points to St Helens. 14 points to six now. Green again. Stevens. Good ball out the back for Green. Tries to step around Chris Joint. Bounce of the ball in put. Donahue will go in. He's going to have a look at it. Yeah, they're worried about whether he took the post out before he grounded the footballer. I had a feeling that maybe Donahue's legs went into the touch first, but uh, we'll wait for the replay. Once again, some, some just non-existent the defence out wide. Sullivan had sprinted up. Good tackle by Long. Now, nah, no drama. Yeah, it's a try for sure. The ball was put down well before the, the post was taken, the touch by the Cronulla player. The ball's down there. His feet are still in play. It's a valiant effort by the man making the tackle down low, isn't it? Sean Long. There it is. Cronulla's third try. Bell Dykes and now Donaghy. 18 to 6. Green to the open side. And Samet 
Away from Dykes. Eddinghausen sets himself for the line. Eddinghausen picks up Cronulla's fourth try. 22 points to six. Uh, Nostril Damas does it again. What about the next six? What about the next one? Right from the scrum to set play. But the, they've really drawn all the St. Helens defenders in. And then from here, there's now, look, Sullivan's left, what, 15, 20 metres of the field for E.T. to run into. Well, Paul Newlove is the man who makes it very difficult for his fellow defenders. He comes flying in the number four. Straight away opened an overlap for the Sharks. There he is there. He ends up missing another tackle shortly. But really, as soon as Newlove came in and the Sharks were able to get a couple of players out wide and on top of that missed tackle, it was always going to be a try. A little in and away from Eddinghausen. Interesting just to have a look at how the ball comes down here because Sullivan gets him down before the line and the momentum takes him across. And that's exactly what happens. No promotion to football by ET. Pick of Vance. Chris McKenna about to come back into the game. Joint. Joint. Good bust. Now, New Love. He's away, New Love. Under the upright, Paul New Love gets St. Helen's second try. But put it down to Chris Joint. What about the double shimmy as he comes up? Completely bamboozled a couple of Cronulla players. What's the little move he puts on here as he comes up to Forrester? There's one, there's, there's the second. Straight through. He's had a, a tremendous game tonight, Chris Joint. And positions New Love perfectly. We haven't seen much of Paul New Love tonight. I think he's been a disappointment. But he can score a try and he was in the right position to take advantage of this tremendous setup here from Chris Joint. Oh, the double shimmy. I think he's tripped twice, hasn't he? Very good play, good evasive work, evasive skills there from Joint. He's not the fastest. He pulls his <laughs> shorts up on oh, the run. Oh, glad he did. The Salmon's hanging out, but he doesn't care. New love back on the inside, and he's uh, he's not a bad finisher. Right under the sticks where you want him. So the conversion from Bobby Goulding successful. St Helens. And they trail now by 10. Green to the halfway line. Richardson. Richardson. Long run. Big dummy. Bell. Eddinghausen. Andrew gets his second. And Cronulla defeats St. Helens. And St. Helens will be praying that this six points is not going to cost them down the track. Well constructed try here. And it was the strength of Russell Richardson. He beat two defenders. The last was Joey Hayes. Positioned his men beautifully on the inside. Bobby Gurling went for the intercept. The pass wasn't thrown. And Bell on to Eddinghausen. He hasn't had many touches tonight, Andrew Eddinghausen. Been a quiet game for the Cronulla captain, but he still gets a try in this match. But he sent a partner. Well, he did it all for him. It's been their big problem all night. It's been their defence out wide. St. Helens, they just haven't adjusted at times, and the one-on-ones have, have been a bit ordinary, but uh, they've played well, and Cronulla, a scrappy win for them. Paul Green with five from seven for the night. That was a pretty good game of football. St. Helens, a worthy opponent, but the Sharks' defence was just too solid, and their ability to score tries has never been in doubt.